welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel well today we are going to do another makeup look inspired by a flower and today is going to be this beautiful gazania flower let me just show you the picture and it's a beautiful flower so today we are going to try to create that and for that look I'm going to use two palettes you already recognize this mix ultimate brights and then we have today Violet Boss Pro eyeshadow palette. Let's zoom in and stop. And before you do that, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos and click that notification bell. Are you excited? Because I am. Let's zoom in. So today we are going to do kind of in a different way. I usually always have my face makeup on, but today I don't have it. We're going to put that afterwards, but I'm going to prime my eyes with this pure crease crease eyeshadow base now I really don't like this eyeshadow base it's okay it does hold my eyeshadow in place for a couple of hours but when I work I don't use this one but for today we're going to use it because I'm going to take this makeup off when I'm finished with the video so I don't need a very good primer but I'm just used to have primer on my eyelids and that's what I'm going to have it on now too. And before we start, I'm going to take my hair up with my cute flower ears. I think it's very good to have it in uh, this series. You can't even see it right now, but it helps keeping my strange hair in place. So before I start putting any eyeshadow, I'm going to take this NYX eyeshadow base white all over my eyelid and I think I'm going to take it a little bit higher, almost into my crease and I think I'm going to use, well I think I'm going to use my finger. If you want to see a special makeup look inspired by flower, please let me know what kind of flower you want me to do. I will do my best to create that. Now I'm going to take more of this NYX eyeshadow base in white. I want it to be more white than it is. Now I'm going to set this with this crystal eyeshadow in this palette. I'm also going to use this Revolution palette, make <laughs> Revolution palette. <laughs> palette from Makeup Revolution Ultra Eyeshadow Flawless 3. I'm going to take this white shade up here and place that. Oh, oh, a lot of fallouts. Now, as you can see, this flower has white yellow kind of red purple or wine red shade and almost black around so this is going to be kind of hard to do but we'll try i have an idea in my head we'll see if it works and for that yellow i'm going to take this palette over here and i think i'm going to use um, well, I'm going to use first this light one and then I'm going to switch to the darker shade. I want to do something kind of different than I did before. I'm always nervous when I do these makeup looks. I always think, what if I fail and it doesn't look the flower? Then I'm going to go to this darker yellow, almost like an orangey shade. I'm going to take this palette, this shade Teddy Bear. I'm going to place uh, this and 
and then I'm going to go into this yellow shade, light yellow, again a little bit. I'm really not happy how this brown turned out. So I think I'm going to go into another shade. I'm going to take this Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to take this one here or this small brush. And then I'm going to go into this palette and into this shade Wine and Dine. I mix it with this teddy bear brown just to make it a little bit darker. And I'm going to spray some Fix Plus on this brush. Where is it? And then I'm going to go into this palette and I'm going to take this white eyeshadow again work with it. So I'm going to put some makeup on my face, may, uh, do some mascara and I'll be right back. So guys, that's, uh, this is the final look. Now I know it looks crazy and it's not perfect, long for, from perfect, but I'm really happy how it turned out. Uh, of course I could, there was many ways doing this makeup look, but I wanted to create something different, something crazy, and I think I did a pretty good job with creating this makeup look. Now, this is what I wanted from the first beginning. This is what I had in my mind when I saw this picture, when I saw this flower. And I think uh, I, did, I did a crazy, crazy look. And I like it. Well, that's what it's called, inspired by a flower. And I'm happy with the results. Please let me know if there is any flower you want me to create a makeup look inspired by. And give a thumbs up if you like this kind of videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!